Hey guys, what's up? I am here with a new video today on how to fix your Rocksmith. If you have recently updated it and it, you have custom DLC and it's no longer working, I am going to show you how to fix it. And I also want to go ahead and start off by saying to anyone that is still subscribed to me, I know I haven't made a video in years, but uh, I appreciate you. And I am going to be getting back into making my Music Mondays here eventually. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, basically, the game isn't opening because of this file right here. If you were to delete this file from your game folder, it would load just fine. Um, so pretty much to fix this is you're going to want to go to wherever you have your Rocksmith downloaded. So for me, you'll come down here to your File Explorer. To, and then for me, it's in my M.2, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and here I have my folder right here. Another way you can also do this is by going to your Steam, Steam library, right clicking Rocksmith, manage, and then browse local files. And that'll bring up wherever you have your game downloaded as well. So pretty much what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna just click your DLC, hold down control, and then click D3DX942. And then you're gonna either press control C to copy or right click and click copy and then here on your desktop you're going to right click go to new new folder open that up and then you're going to grab what you copied and paste that in here once that finishes you'll want to come back to your rocksmith 2014 folder and you're going to want to just highlight everything and just delete it because you won't be needing it Okay, once you do that, you can minimize that, uh, minimize that one too. And in the description, I will have these two things down there that you can, can copy and uh, paste. So you're going to want to grab this first line, control C, copy it. Then you're going to want to come down here and type in run. And if you click that, and if you're on Windows, you can also do Windows plus R. That'll also bring up your run app. And then you're going to pretty much just paste this into the open file right here and click OK. I had already done this previously, but I'm on a fresh download. So once you're in here, you're going to want to then go and copy this line, Control C, come down here to this line right here, and then paste it with Control V. You can also right click and click paste. Once you have that in there, just press Enter. And basically what that is doing is downloading that a previous version of Rocksmith and you will find it here in Steam Apps and then Content. And this is where the file will be. As you can see right now it is currently blank and that is because it is downloading. But once this is done downloading, I will be back. Okay, now once that is complete, basically what you're going to want to do is just copy everything here, Control C, and then you're going to want to go back to your Steam Apps, Common, and then your Rocksmith 2014 folder, and then just Paste. And it'll put everything in here. Uh, you don't want to leave everything inside that folder, because if you were to open the game from that folder and then close it, uh, Steam will actually try to re-download the game back here into this regular folder. So you're going to want to copy and paste all those files to here. And then you're going to grab your DLC and your D3DX9. Drag and drop that over here. Or you can copy and paste it if you want to keep it as a backup. And then you're going to skip this file. And that's pretty much it. Now you can open up your game. I'll go ahead and open it to show that it works. You can see it opens now. And once this loads, I will even um, go through a custom song real quick so you can see that it loads too. So as you can see, it said Ubisoft failed to download or fail to log in. Uh, that's the only con about this is that 
since it's using a previous version, um, you won't be able to, I'm trying not to get copyrighted in my bed. <laughs> uh, pretty much you won't be able to go online. So go here, learn a song. You can see it right here. I have a song that I can open and I can play it. And um, I will even show you that I can scroll through it, finish the song, and it'll it'll still work. So now I'm gonna Alt F4. And then usually if you were to keep it, if you were to keep all these files inside the other folder, now is the time that Steam would try to go and re-download everything. But since you have all these files already inside this Rocksmith folder, you can go back and just easily reopen the game again and it'll work. So I hope this really helps all of y'all out there that are having issues with this. Um, took me a, a couple days to find this fix. So I'm really hoping it helps y'all. Let me know if it does. Let me know if I went too fast. Uh, maybe I went too slow. Um, probably saying um too much. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this, I really hope this helps y'all. But anyway, if you like this video, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see me play some music Mondays. I'm really trying to get that in, get back into that. I have over 2,000 hours in Rocksmith now. So I'm really looking forward to making those music Mondays again. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all guys later.